Ah, oh, happy Friday, everyone. It's almost the weekend. I can tell because Kat's liver hung up its do not disturb sign. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I would stop, yeah, but I lied. You can't. I can't. <laughs> so is it time to declare this national experiment over? The one where we handed America over to a guy who gets lost on the way from the toilet to the sink? <laughs> There's not a single optimistic photo of Joe Biden that we can find. It's all like he's got a migraine. And so do we. Let's assess the mess. Right now we see plunging enrollment in public schools, even the ones where hot teachers bang the male students. People are leaving the hellish prisons faster than felons leaving actual prisons in California. Gas is climbing to 10 bucks a gallon. They're talking about rationing. If Biden were any farther back into the 1970s, he'd be peeing down the leg of his bell bottoms. <laughs> the only formula for babies that the Dems can find is abortion. Oh. Yeah, huh? Pretty, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Which is a shame because now even men can get pregnant. What do you say a woman is? I believe that everyone can identify for themselves. Okay. Um, do, do you believe then that men can become pregnant and have abortions? Yes. <laughs> She's nuts! Look at he's got crazy, crazy eyes! Well, that's gonna ruin the NFL. <laughs> Sorry, Tom Brady's day to day with morning sickness. So, as our education system implodes, teachers are sent to sex fetish conferences. I could just see a math teacher teaching kids how to count to 20 while he sucks on his life partner's toes to do so. It's real. This as kids experience the highest rates of mental illness on record, only to be taught by their teachers. Funny how being masked and locked down will do that to a young person. Just ask the Jehovah Witness tied up in my basement. <laughs> Meanwhile, panic Dems demand investigations into domestic terror as their disinformation board implodes faster than a Chris Wallace talk show. <laughs> as this goes on, Netflix scraps all its woke programming. The world's richest man, once a diehard Democrat, now says he's voting Republican. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, at this point, George Soros must be having second thoughts. <laughs> Interestingly, the public seems immune to the Democrats jitting up anti-Republican rage. And poor Antifa. Fuel prices are so high, instead of Molotov cocktails, rioters have to throw Shirley Temples. <laughs> so what's going on here? Are we realizing this sh ain't right anymore? Are we waking up? And is this the true definition of being woke? Makes sense. We let the lunatics take over the asylum, and now the streets look like mental hospitals, minus the indoor plumbing. Smash and grabs continue unabated. Drug stores shut down as the street drug trade ramps up. That includes fentanyl and the Pepsid they stole from Walgreens. I'm surprised they're not honoring coupons. <laughs> Gang crime turns sections of major cities into no-go territories, and the street poopers, they go anywhere they want to go. Just ask Salou. Oh. <laughs> and our government, well, they believe the answer is investigating you with the FBI meaning full-blown idiots. Are you a school board terrorist or a pronoun abuser? Did you dare ask why that blue-haired teacher had the communist manifesto in one hand and a sex toy in the other? And what do either of those have to do with third grade math? And they claim we all follow the replacement theory, but only the left seems to know what that is. And why? Well, they wanted the votes, but they also want cheap labor, just like they did back in the 1850s. A lot of other states are heading toward increasing diversification, toward demographic changes that mean uh, a, a less red state future for them. I really think because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win Texas moving forward and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. Texas have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place there. And the demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. So, assuming one group thinks a certain way, what a bunch of racists. 
Anyway, I list all this stuff because something's happening. I call it the great awakening. The public's waking up because unlike the media, you exist in the real world. You make a living in the real world and face challenges every day in the real world. So when the public looks at a problem, it's with a mental dashboard. And we see the red engine light flashing. It tells us that more criminals and fewer cops equal a crime wave. That math's so simple, only a socialist could f*** it up. <laughs> We see the wokeism, the indoctrination, the moves, against free, uh, the moves against free speech. We can see it because we have the tools to see it. The Dems can't see it because they have only one filter, and of course that's race. So when crime goes up, they blame racism. Kids get lousy educations, they blame racism. When a billionaire buys Twitter, hell, he must be racist. When their bread goes stale, racism. When they get a flat, racism. How did this happen? Well, when you decide that patriotism is oppression, you got to replace it with something. And that's identity politics. That's their replacement theory. But it's like trying to replace sugar with sweet and low. The people who love sugar can tell how horrible it is right away. But if your country can't be forgiven based on the original sin of slavery, then you can't be patriotic. You can't love this country. All you can do is destroy it. And it's much easier to burn buildings than it is to make them. We see this clearly now. In America, we understand our faults, our blessings, our need for cooperation, unity, and love. We understand that identity politics offers none of that. If you don't believe that, look at our competitors' ratings. That's called empirical evidence. <laughs> Thankfully, we're in this together, and we're going to pull this country out of this malaise like a fireman or cop pulls a drowning dog out of a frozen lake. And we'll do it whether the idiot in charge likes it or not. With his popularity so low and gas prices so high, I wonder what he thinks.